When setting up OnVIF cameras to a WiseNet recorder, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it through the installation wizard. There's a couple important things to take note of. Follow the same process as with WiseNet cameras in the other training video. However, there's a couple key things to keep in mind. First off, when you get to the camera password on this step here, make sure you put in the camera's usernames and passwords on the bottom half of this screen right here. Make sure that you've already configured usernames and passwords or enabled OnVIF in those third-party cameras. The next thing that's crucial to do is make sure that the time and date is correct. If the time and date between the recorder and the camera don't match, it's not going to sync up. Then when you get to the camera register screen, you should be able to find your OnVIF cameras listed here. You may need to hit the refresh button for it to discover it again, and you'll see the cameras are listed, and then give it a moment, and the cameras should come and say registered. If you want to add the cameras after you've already configured the NVR the first time, we can do that doing an auto discovery or a manual registration. We can start in the setup menu under setup, camera, channel setup, and then click the auto detect button. Your camera should be displayed after a moment, and if not, hit the refresh button. Then put a check mark next to the cameras you want to add and click the register button and you'll see them shown on the right hand side. Then hit next and you should see a preview of your camera and you can drop and drag them into place that you want. If you didn't have the right password or you have an error, you can go to the camera password menu and enter in your password. To manually add an OnVIF camera, click the manual button, then choose the OnVIF option, enter in the IP address of the camera, the port number, and the OnVIF username and password. Click apply and it should show you that the connection test is successful, and then hit apply again to save your changes. The last step for OnVIF cameras is to go to the event menu, OnVIF setup, and map any functions that the camera has, such as motion detection, analytics, alarm input output, PTZ, audio, and things like that. So you can click on the drop down, and you can map the source from the camera in the middle to the items that the NVR recognizes on the right. 